Miller, National Brand Manager with Heartland RV. I'm here with Dan Saha. We are at uh, his backyard here at the uh, Lippert Technical Institute. We want to continue bringing you guys value for those of you that are new to camping or those of you that are seasoned, but just maybe this would be a good reminder. Uh, today we're going to start out uh, here. Dan's got a great demo. We're talking all things uh, lubrication relative to um, your axle. And it's really important because we see so many questions that come into Heartland RV on, hey, do I have to do this every time I go camping? Yikes, and we're gonna explain why. Um, but Dan's just gonna do a great job and make everything clear for all of you. Um, and if you follow this protocol, you should uh, enjoy the life of your coach um, after the purchase. So Dan, with that said, let's talk about uh, what we want our campers to be doing. Absolutely, Well, So first off, welcome. Um, like you said, talking about taking care of our uh, brake assembly here, making sure our bearings are maintained properly. So on the end of the Easy Lube hub assemblies here, you have this greaser. So yep. kind of behind you in the center, behind that dust cap, so you'd, right here. you'd pop, yep, pop that off of there. And then there's another dust cap just kind of protect this portion of the assembly. On here, that, that greaser, standard greaser, you've got the manual hand pump in your hands there. We're not going to want to use a pneumatic or battery powered one, just a standard one like you have there. We're going to put one, two pumps in there. Okay. And this is only to act sort of as a stop gap between our ability to get in for service. Okay. So your service would still want to be performed every 12 months or 36,000 miles. Okay. Um, now, that being said, it, grease can go bad. Just over those time spans, sure. grease can go bad. And what we're going to do with the, the grease gun there that you have is we're going to go on this circuit and just give it one or two pumps. And we're just trying to get some fresh grease in there so we can get it in for service. Now, I want to ask you what's, you know, we've had some customers that they'll put 50 pumps. What are some of the problems if customers did that? Absolutely. <laughs> so if you're hit, sitting there with that grease gun and you're just hammering down on that lever or you put that pneumatic one or something along those lines, What's going to happen is, as we're filling this greaser, which would be on the end right here, what that's going to do is that's going to fill this cavity and I can blow this seal out. Now, if we blow this seal out, that's going to fill your hub full of grease. So the way the brakes work is you've got two magnets that pop out and need to make contact with the face of this hub here. And if you have grease, now we don't have proper contact. Now we just have the brake pad in Greece. In Greece, just <laughs> doing nothing basically. So what the customer will experience is if they've done that, um, or if they um, maybe haven't had it for service for a while, what they'll notice is that the unit won't have uh, as great a capability as braking as it may have had in the past. So they'll notice they reduced brake capability in that unit. Great.